Taking a look at uh, Duke's football schedule here for 2019. We got Mike McDaniel on the line from inside the ACC, Gobbler Country, and ESPN Blacksburg. Uh, Duke is not necessarily a program that comes to mind for me, Mike, that schedules the powers of college football, that's uh, knocking heads with Ohio State and Michigan and Oklahoma and Texas on a regular basis. If you look at the schedule from year to year, uh, they threw on Baylor the past couple of years. They've had Northwestern, some decent teams, but uh, they went full throttle this year. You got Alabama in the opener for Duke and later in the season, a game against Notre Dame. Yeah, that's pretty ambitious in a year. You're not going to have Daniel Jones playing quarterback. Um, you know, we talked about this with Georgia Tech, like ripping the Band-Aid off because they're playing Clemson in the opener. Well, how about Duke? Duke does not have Daniel Jones, and they're getting Alabama at the worst possible time. Now, this is a little bit counterintuitive, right? Because you're saying, well, Alabama week one, it's better than getting Alabama in like October or November when they're a fully oiled machine. Well, yes, that's the case. But Alabama also just got stomped in the national championship game and will have nine months to think about it before they play Duke in the opener. Um that's probably going to be a four or five touchdown spread. So, uh, you know, it'll be an accomplishment for Duke if they cover um, North Carolina a and in week two. That's winnable at Middle Tennessee. That should be a win for Duke. Week four is a bye week. So you're trying to sit at two and one at Virginia Tech uh, Friday night game. That's a tough matchup in Blacksburg home against Pitt. Toss up game, hope against Georgia Tech, toss up game. But, you know, you get those two toss up games at home. At Virginia, got to lean Virginia at this point. At North Carolina, complete toss up before you get a bye week before the home stretch of the year, which is pretty tough for Duke. They have Notre Dame and Syracuse both at home, but both very losable games. At Wake Forest, I feel like Duke almost has to win that game if they want to go to a bowl game and then home against Miami. Don't love Duke's chances there. Um, Without Daniel Jones, Mark, I have a hard time seeing Duke get to six wins given this schedule. It's a really tough closing stretch. I'm high on Notre Dame, Syracuse, and I'm always seemingly high on Miami until they prove me wrong. Um, So that's three losses right there. Then you think about Alabama in the opener. That's four losses. And then you have a bunch of toss up games. You got Virginia Tech, Pitt, Georgia Tech, UVA, and North Carolina you got to win at least three or four of those games to reach bowl eligibility. I think anywhere from four to seven wins would not surprise me with Duke. They're extremely well coached. You're going to play hard. I think seven's on the high end, though, given what they have with their schedule. I, I think this could be the first time in a while we see Duke not reach bowl eligibility, Mark. Yeah, it's been a Duke team that, uh, much like what they accomplished in 2018, relies on beating up teams out of conference. Uh, they put together only a 3-5 and five ACC record, but uh, matched that with five wins, including the bowl win against Temple. So they go 8-5, and five, very respectable fringe top 25 team, but only 3-5 and five in the conference. That can't be the formula this year with Alabama and Notre Dame on the schedule. They're going to have to play much, much better in the ACC. 